a lack of communication and support from district officials. That's a major reason former Shano teacher Corey Bougie says he resigned this school year. He points to a major district decision to change technology to Apple products, a decision he said the district made with no meaningful teacher input. We got all, like I said, these shiny new tools that we had. Um, and then we had to try and figure out how to make them work. Their other teachers are so frustrated that they're breaking down in tears. I, it was just ridiculous. Local 5 News looked back at district meeting minutes and videos and talked to former and current district officials to confirm that at least 53 district employees have resigned, retired, or did not stay in the district after receiving contract non-renewals since the beginning of last school year. The number is rough, but the people that are the numbers is rougher um, because I know the people that are leaving. In a statement, a district official said as a district, we are actively working on filling our open positions. We have filled the majority of our administrative team and are really excited with the applicants and quality of the staff choosing to join our current staff. Parents are watching all of this closely. Heather Marquette's son is in the special education program. We got here and everything that my son needed was just automatically done. He got the aid, he got Everything he stayed in the classrooms, they mixed things up to keep his attention. Eight Shawano special education teachers have left this year. It's alarming. I'm nervous. I'm scared. But at the same time, I don't blame them if this is what they needed to do. The school district saying in a statement, in both recruiting and retaining our high quality staff, we continue to listen, learn, and work together towards improvement. In Shawano, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.